Shalom brothers and sisters. Now, here's an interesting one, and it's going to tie in with, with a video that I'll do in the next week on MBS, Muhammad bin Salman. Brutal executions, including beheadings and crucifixions, on the rise in Saudi Arabia under the reign of Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman. The brutal ex executions on the rise with Mohammed bin Salman, with human rights activists now calling the score of beheadings and crucifixions a relentless killing spree. The Saudi authorities have killed hundreds in capital punishment since the Crown Prince's tenure started in 2015, hitting a new milestone that Amnesty International said reveals the kingdom's chilling disregard for the right to life. Despite Ben Salman promising he would limit the use of capital punishment, the number has nearly doubled since he took the throne. According to the NGO Reprieve, from 2010 to 2014, there was an average of 70.8 executions per year. I don't know if 0.8 means you're only 0.8 dead. I just don't get it. But from 2015 to 2022, when Mohammed bin Salman came into power, there was an average of 129.5 executions per year, a rise of 82%. Last year, the kingdom carried out 172 executions, despite renewed promises from Bin Salman to limit the scope of capital punishment. Saudi Arabia beheaded 81 people in a single day in March 2022 as part of 193 executions that Amnesty International says were carried out in the country. The majority of state executions in Saudi Arabia are still carried out by sword decapitation, sometimes followed by the crucifixion of the body as the heads are displayed on a stick. But there have also been reports of prisoners sentenced to death by stoning. The sentence is traditionally carried out in a public square on Fridays after prayers to attract an audience and serve as a deterrence. Sounds like a really nice peaceful religion, doesn't it? Doesn't it make you just want to get to know more about it? So peaceful. Crazy. And beheadings being such a focus. I mean, the sword guy must get tired, so maybe they'll lean on... Uh, the FEMA camp's collection of guillotines and all those things that have been stored for a rainy day that's up and coming. Go Google it. It's true. Many, many coffins been stored up for a rainy day and guillotines that were ordered that are all ready to go. Interesting. Beheadings. The old uh, MBS and beheadings. So let's just go to Revelations 20 verse 4 just for a second. In a totally unrelated thing. And I saw thrones. And they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The Bible is correct 100% of the time. And it has prophetically been showing us every step of the way, time and time again, that everything it says is coming, specifically Revelation, is all happening in front of us right now in preparation stages, including a focus on beheadings, mass executions, people that don't conform and listen, multiple done in a single day, and in public, and as a warning to others, what will happen? The time is now. The tribulation is here at the door. Everything is in place. Heifers are ready. The priesthood schools ready. The altars ready. The people are ready to put the temple up. The mark of the beast final stage is almost ready. Everything is prepped. The one world money system is ready. The one world faith is forming in front of your eyes. All of those stakeholders are speaking and together paganism everything an absolute hatred of israel and anything jewish and christians is here right now it is all satan is proudly parading in the streets and still nobody fears it is all ready and then there is a massive sign in the heavens of the eclipse coming now shortly 
everything is screaming, wake up and smell the roses. Uh, it's time, people. It is time. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep being excited. Shalom.